and welcome back to Nathan Bell's podcast. Be sure to like, subscribe and share with your friends. Today, Nate would like to talk about Jesus Christ. Yeah, so today I'm going to talk about the mighty Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. I've thought about Jesus a lot in my life. My mother taught me that we're not a Christian family. Yeah, we're more of a scientific atheist family. But my mother told me that Jesus had a great message, that he was a great dude with a great message. And I'm really down with a lot of Jesus' message, you know, like do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Um, and he who is without sin casts the first stone. You understand that we all make mistakes and that all of us have done the wrong thing, so we should be forgiving um so you know jesus had a good message about compassion and love and empathy and being charitable and sharing um so i've thought a lot about jesus's teachings in my life but i don't accept him as the son of god my god is i'm an atheist but i do open i am open-minded to the idea that the universe might be a simulation and that's about the only god that i believe in so i don't accept jesus as the son of god um but I do think, as I said, that he had a powerful, good message about charity and compassion. And I try to live as Jesus told us to live, um, which is be giving and be caring and compassionate and, and don't judge others. Um, judge not lest ye be judged. Um, try not to judge others and try to be understanding of other people's circumstances and give and be charitable. I think he had a good message to share with the world. So I think a lot about what Jesus w would have really been like. I don't think the Bible is probably a realistic representation of what the man Jesus was like. Um, you know, it, it was a document written by people who supposedly knew him many years after he had died on the cross. Um, and people forget things and people misinterpret what he said and they have their own interpretations. Uh, and sometimes they just outright lie. Uh, and the Bible has been changed and doctored nu numerous times throughout history as well so I, I think probably if there was this man Jesus he was probably very different to how the Bible represents him um, I, I can see that Jesus was clearly a very radical man the Christians wouldn't understand that modern Christians Christian modern Christians just seem to want to tell you that if you don't follow Jesus you're going to burn eternally in hell and they just tell you where we you know you see the Christians in the street selling their religion in Newcastle and all they want to tell you is where will you spend eternity in the kingdom of heaven or will you burn in the fires of hell and that's all they want to tell you they don't want to talk to you about Jesus's message of love and compassion the reality is this guy jesus was a very radical revolutionary leader he was a true rebel um he was challenging the status quo he was going against the, the accepted doctrine of the time um so he was a radical change maker uh who who wanted to co bring about radical change in the society that he lived in and he challenged conformity and he challenged social norms and that was what he was doing um he was a non-conformist ch challenging uh social norms so it's interesting because Jesus is a leader who rose up in the community. He didn't have any formal authority. He certainly wasn't an emperor of Rome or any official of Rome or of the Jewish um, uh, church or the Jewish leadership. He was just a guy um, who rose up in the community as a leader by speaking to people. Uh, and people must have really liked what he was saying because a lot of people followed him. And that's why I think Jesus must have had something pretty special to say. He must have had something pretty convincing, some pretty convincing arguments that he was making about life. Because at the time, a lot of people clearly followed his teachings and followed him as a leader. Uh, and, you know, in the modern world, we're very much of the view that leaders shouldn't just unqualified uh, leaders who don't have any formal authority shouldn't rise up in the community um, and, and convince people to follow them. We sort of call that brainwashing and indoctrination. And we sort of say that guys like Jesus are cult leaders because Jesus was basically a cult leader you know he was just a guy in the community who had a philosophy and views about life and, and he had his own politics and he had his own philosophy about life and he went out without qualification um, and without any expertise and started preaching to people what his views were about how to best live life and people liked what he was saying and they followed him and that's 
essentially what a cult leader does. A cult leader is just an unqualified guy with no expertise who starts preaching a bunch of philosophies and people in the community choose to follow uh, and choose to agree with the doctrine the cult leader is preaching. So Jesus was just a guy who was a cult leader and Christianity is just one of the most powerful cults in the world. Um, Jesus, you know, and the Christians tell you, oh, Jesus was the anointed son of God and his authority came from God. Um, but if you don't believe in the Christians, God, and you just accept Jesus as a guy with a loving, compassionate and decent philosophy who was a teacher and a speaker, um, then you, you recognize that Jesus was a man without any formal qualifications or education to say that what he was saying was valid or true. He was just a random guy in the community preaching his own philosophy and that's what a cult leader does. So, you know, he was a cult leader. He didn't have any authority. But the Christians don't understand that because they say that Jesus' authority came from God because they're of the view that he was the son of God um, incarnate on the earth to deliver God's message. Um, but if you're like me and you think Jesus was a cool dude but you reject that he was the son of God, um, you just see him as a guy with a great philosophy about love um, and you see that he's basically just a cult leader. Uh, but, you know, he's one of the better cult leaders because he had a good philosophy and his message was good and it was about peace and love and charity and caring and sharing and that's, that's a good philosophy to preach. There can be good cult leaders. Uh, there are cult leaders who preach good philosophies. You know, we don't have to always just reject cult leaders because they amass a, a following by speaking bullshit. Uh, he, had a, he, he spoke good shit uh, and the shit that he spoke was good and it was solid and worth following and that's why I think he was a champion dude uh, and I try to live by the philosophy that he preached even though I don't accept him as the son of God or as any divine entity. Uh, the other thing about Jesus is he did on numerous occasions as I understand proclaim that he was the keeper of truth and God's divine message. Now that's a bit egotistical, you know, oh, why are you so special? I've said this in previous videos. Why, why did he think he was so special that he and it was anointed with some holy, divine, god sent message that God the creator of the universe gave him, special him, to share with the world? Now it's this very egotistical thing about how special Jesus... So Jesus must have... If Jesus really said those things where he said that he was the keeper of truth and the way to the kingdom of heaven was through him... Uh, and through his teachings but well, he had a big ego and a big messiah complex and he really thought he was special and I don't like that um, because he wasn't a special man he was just a human being uh, and some of his philosophy was pretty good and, and he had some good philosophies uh, but he certainly wasn't the keeper of any divine holy truth because there is no divine holy truth unless the, the creator of the simulation has some divine holy truth uh, maybe I'm the, the Messiah and the creator of the simulation has given me some divine holy truth and I'm special and unique and you should all kneel before me and worship my almighty teachings which come from the divine Lord, the master of reality, the God which I worship, the creator of the simulation. So we're all just human beings and some of us can have really cool philosophies and some of us figure out you know better ideas about how to live life than others and it's okay to go around and talk your philosophies to people and if people choose to follow your philosophy that's their choice that's their agency you know it was the, Jesus's followers had every right to follow Jesus's philosophy if they thought that he had a good philosophy but proclaiming that you somehow divine and that you have some holy message giveth by the creator of the universe is a bit egotistical and arrogant and certainly isn't true um, but you know Jesus was a radical leader and a revolutionary leader who wanted to bring about radical change in the society that he lived in um, so we should view him as the ultimate rebel as one of the most powerful and confronting rebels in history and the, and the Christians always want you to conform and obey their doctrine but they forget or they don't understand and don't comprehend that Jesus was challenging the status quo of his era he was a rebel he was a pioneer who broke away from the conformity and the hegemony of the society and the culture that he lived in and wanted to pave a new path with a new philosophy which he had created himself.
Um, and it's okay for people to come up with their own philosophies, especially if you come up with a halfway decent philosophy. I've got my own philosophies, and I think my philosophies are pretty halfway decent. Maybe they'll remember me as a prophet in centuries to come, and they'll have religious wars about what I said. Um, I am your glorious leader, Nathan, my Messiah of the Universe Simulator. Uh, but it's okay to have your own philosophies, but you don't really need to proclaim that your message is divine. You should say, in my mind, if you want to teach a philosophy, you should say, this is my philosophy. I've come about this philosophy because I have sat and I have contemplated the nature of life and I have contemplated my views on life and these are the reasonings that I have concluded about what the nature of life is and how to live a good life and you should present yourself as a human being with a message that you have created of your own accord and that doesn't come from any special divine entity right then that's what a good teacher does they don't proclaim that god gave them a message to send they say i've thought about this and here's what i think um so there's some thoughts about the man jesus the radical man jesus who lived many thousands of years ago the great lord almighty jesus christ of nazareth so drop a comment in the comment section about what you think i've said about jesus